Hey Star Wars fans and thanks for tuning in to another video. Now I just want to share with you another one of my little projects that I've been working on with my uh, 3D printer. Uh, for those interested, it is a Creality Ender 5 Pro. So just to let you know that because I'm always bound to get comments. Um, so yeah, I've, I've found these files on Thingiverse and I will again, once again, put the uh, link to the uh, site, the page in the site in the description below for these files because um you know it just pays to uh give credit where credit's due and uh yeah I, i'm pretty damn happy with this aside from having um just a backdrop um i'm hoping to get a nice sort of matte photo to go sitting behind the window there and this will go on my return of the jedi shelf um with these figures on on display so yeah i've got the emperor here Obviously, this is the new newest vintage collection figure, which I have reviewed. Um, yeah, for me, this is probably one of the best ones this year. I've been very, very impressed with this one, and yeah, I can't put it down. It just looks fantastic. So yeah, go and check out my review if you've missed it. So I'll put him aside, and then I've just got these two 5 POA Royal Guards that came out and part of the uh, Solo line back in 2018. Yes, 2018. So yeah, here's what I've got, basically. We've got the Empress Throne, uh, which was printed in three pieces. So you had the top of the chair, the main sort of piece of the chair, and then the base underneath. Um, and yeah, I've, I've printed it and prepared it, and probably gonna spend a lot longer and, and stuff, but I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Um, you know, I have, I've never had a three and three quarter inch uh, scale Palpatine throne, so this is a first for me. Never had a pair of the Force One, and uh, yeah, and I don't know how many have been released since. Um, up until now, where Hasbro's done their Hascon, Hasbro Pulse um, exclusive set with the window and the, and the throne, but I, I feel like I've taken it one step further than that with this little with this little display, given that it's got the actual window frame. Um, some, some wall attachments and also the uh, the base with the step so we'll take a look at them I decided not to go too detailed with the painting um, this is literally just a grey primer over it and I think it looks fine um, kind of looks like that sort of Death Star colour so <laughs> I'm just going to leave it but the chair yeah that got a little bit more, more detail you know little, little, little switches and stuff there on the uh, on the side of the chair the red buttons and then I came up with a uh, sort of a real deep purple for um, the cushioning on his seat. It's just the look right. So yeah, it's basically just got a bunch of coats of uh, matte black, and then I did just did some sort of dry brushing over it just to sort of. I know it's not super duper accurate. I just wanted to give it that sort of metallic feel. Um, it probably would have been better if I just used a light sponge and just sort of wiped over it with a bit of silver, um, or sponged or sponged it off afterwards. Doesn't matter. I'm I'm pretty happy with how it looks. So, you know, for the most part, he's going to be sitting on it. So there's that. So we'll continue by moving the throne aside. Which again, I'll just give you another quick look. You'll sort of just see the base under there. Doesn't spin or anything. I probably could have worked out a way to make it pivot, but it's okay because you can just do that. That's not a big deal. So I'll move this out of the way and we'll take a look at the window. Now this is actually printed out really well. This was two parts, so you had the immediate sort of the ring and then the frame. Um, so they were two separate parts. Uh, I could have, yeah, like I said, I could have spent a lot more time really sort of tidying up the backside. So you can sort of see there's still a lot of those bits of uh, support and stuff, the line work. Um, but yeah, being that it's on the back of the shelf, I really don't care. So uh, the other thing I'd like to do is probably just find a way to just support it to stand up on its own, which is actually doing okay now. Um, Cause yeah, it just wants to tip back. So I need to just sort of maybe sand out that flat, get a little bit more weight distri distribution coming forward or put it, tack some little stands on the back just to stop it from tipping tipping backwards. So that's not a difficult process. Um, but yeah, for the most part, you know, you can sort of, if you look up close, you can sort of see all the printing detail there. 
still some really thin sort of fibers and stuff burring and stuff but again it's it's so minuscule um, but yeah I don't want to sand it too much because it is quite a thin sort of what thin parts there so I don't want to thin it to the point where it's just gonna get um, you know almost breakable so I'm just gonna leave that as is I think it looks good once it's in the back of the shelf with a nice sort of display behind it I'm hoping to get a nice a uh, high-res picture of like the Rebel fleet in the background from Return of the Jedi. I think that'll look really nice. Get a nice matte print um, just to fit behind there, and that'll look great on the shelf. So yeah, here we've got the uh, the little podium. So you can sort of see the print lines on the bottom. So yeah, it was two of these parts here, obviously, and then the step, and then the uh, the platform itself. And I did get a little line there in the print but yeah again really not too fast I'm happy with how it turned out all super glued together this is looking fine and yeah the way it just sort of sits there in front of the window looks great see I'm really really happy with how this has turned out there was another piece in the file which gave a bigger sort of base on the floor so I'm, I might still print that and that may actually help attach this to the, to the base so that could be an option for me too it was just like a you know a bigger piece like this the sort of slim semi tapered edges so yeah I may I may even look into printing that one at some point so there we have the Emperor's throne room again I'll have the link to the designer give them all the credit um, for producing the files that allowed me to print this out so yeah it's uh it's pretty good they've done a great job and uh you know I, I feel like i've done a good job putting this all together and having it a nice little display on my shelf so yeah please let me know what you think down in the comments below i'd love to hear your thoughts um yeah <laughs> i'd love to hear your thoughts please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it please subscribe if you haven't already um yeah appreciate you hanging out until my next video may the force be with you always